Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today the Inghams, they're finally on the... No, they're not really, are they? <laughs> they're dawdling, right? They are dawdling, dragging their heels over this big move. We all want to see what's... Well, we know that it's... Um, it's um, <laughs> I don't even know. It is um, giving me Council House vibes. I'm going to show it again. I've already shown where they are and... Um, and what it's what it's all about but i just can't get it out of my head right council house seacroft etc so let's see what these are up to today uh, apparently sarah ingham has been doing something illegal if you look at the thumbnail here it says illegal in dubai and there's an arrow pointing at Sarah, so I wonder what exactly it is about Sarah that's illegal. Probably many of <laughs> many things about Sarah is illegal. Um, that hairdo for one thing, isn't it? No, that doesn't even fucking work. I don't fucking know. Right, let's get into this video and um, and see what they got up to because uh, I'm sure it was nothing if not fantastic. <laughs> Okay, can someone please help me out here because I'm struggling a little bit, right? This grass, um, it isn't real grass, is it? Is this AstroTurf? Is that what it is? Uh, I've seen it a few times, couldn't be bothered to mention it before, but that's not real grass, is it? I know I'm being stupid, but they are in the desert. I don't think grass grows out there. Um, I'm just thinking, why, why would you move to a place where... Where there's no grass growing uh, and there's no greenery and it's just all very it's all very fake it's like you pick up like a big city and plonk it in the middle of the desert it doesn't make sense to me right at all none of it does so um but i also um chris what the fuck are you wearing what is that looking good there chrissy boy looking good it's very spiffing 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 Waffing, squishing. I don't fuck. Jesus. Right. It's early in the morning, right? My brain is not thinking of anything which is even remotely humorous. I'm sorry, but if you look at the. Um, what is. Andrew Tate would be fucking proud of you, Chris. You've clearly made it. You're living the dream. You're in Dubai and you're wearing um, those. Um, uh, Sarah's flip flops, uh, maybe as well. Could even be Esme's. I don't know. Good morning, I found welcome to. It's actually the afternoon. Wait, Yeah, he was. Hey, Dick, can you not do that on the clean clothes, though? Yeah, but watch. Please. Watch me. Come on. Go on, then. Gosh. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, um, freeze some water. Not on the clothes, Milan. We need to put the laundry away. Don't splash the clothes. Yeah. Mila's just giving me a story about how Daddy put the... Yeah. Mommy, what's this? Woo! You're a big girl. Um, Chris filled the paddling pool up on the patio. Sarah, a quick word, if you will, right? Um, showing your very young children in their swimwear again on the vlogs. You must be absolutely delighted, right? Bringing in the punters and everything like that. But can I remind you that people, not all people have the best of intentions that are watching your vlogs. Do you even care where your kids' images will end up? Speaking of which, um, you must be so proud of your offspring because they seem to have a very good grasp on the dangers of the internet, as shown by this comment, which recently appeared on their TikTok. That's right, Esme's TikTok. Uh, somebody commented to her, Yeah, but your parents brought you up to be posted online in swimming costumes and be on video every day for randos and even old men to see. So um, that's an interesting point to point out to your 
your child because, you know, she needs to know this information. Uh, but Esme replies, um, they see no more than what everyone else in that pool or beach sees. It's no different. With the skull emoji. <laughs> That's right. So you must be proud, Sarah, because, you know, your homeschooled child seems to have a very good grasp on online safety and everything else that comes with it because she seems to think that a few people at the pool looking at you in your swimwear equates to millions of people looking at you online and distributing your images around the dark web that is actually <laughs> insane to me because <laughs> do you not teach your children that you know there are hundreds of thousands of people online with very bad intentions right all they have to do is screenshot their image and pass it to the mates right etc if they see if that same person sees you at the at the pool right they can't just whip out their camera because they'll be seen right so they can't do that and there's not hundreds of thousands of people looking at you on the beach or the pool, right? It's not the same thing. Please get it out of your thick heads that that is the same thing. It just goes to show exactly what these kids are taught by their parents because that's insane, right? That is actually insane. And I, I genuinely, I can't believe that in this day and age, people even think that you know they try and put that as a defense that's not a defense that's just insanity and stupidity and um yet they're, they're passing that stupidity on to their kids lovely and then tried to pull it down because it was just really hot up there so he pulled it down off the patio and it caused a massive wave that's what jason and Mila were both just telling me it's been kind of a chores day today we've yeah. had some chores and things that we needed to catch up on. Obviously laundry and things is just never ending anyway. Um, and then, yeah, we're gonna get, start moving things over to the new house. But I think these two want to go to the pool today and Esme and Isla. I've been asking, can we go to the pool during the day? Can we go? Because whenever we go up to the pool, it's always like evening time. I'm sorry, your 12 and nearly 15 year old daughters have been asking you if they can if you can take them to the pool why can't they just go to the pool <laughs> i'm sorry but i may maybe i'm misunderstanding here when i was younger and i wanted to go swimming um you know even as a 12 year, year old i would go swimming with my mates on my own you know without my mum you know that was an actual thing maybe times have changed slightly but apparently they're in the safest you know safest country in the world according to sarah so there's no danger there just say yeah if you want to go to the pool go to the pool you know you don't need my permission or my you know don't need to wait for mummy you know um just seems a bit strange to me which is absolutely fine it's fine to go up on an evening it's gorgeous in fact to go up on an evening but it is often much busier so during the daytime, there's like never ever usually anybody there. So they want to go up to the pool. So I think. Yep, there's usually a reason why there's never ever anybody there. Mainly because a it's fucking boiling, right? And people aren't insane. Um, they don't go out during the daytime because it's too hot, right? And secondly, uh, people work. People go to school. People do school work. Even if they're homeschooled, they usually do school work. Uh, and they don't go uh, swimming because, you know, they need an education. Um, obviously, your kids don't because they're going to be world famous influencers, and that's their future sorted. I'm gonna do that, but I think Isla's making herself some lunch. Isabel's just come down. Yeah. I can see yeah, in the kitchen mommy. she looks like she's making we lunch. Have lunch. What, sweetheart? We have some lunch. You want some lunch too? Yeah, and also. Yeah. Look, 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 Wow, where's yours? Where's your ball? I don't know. Might be in the car still. Yeah. I think it's maybe still in the car. Yeah. Right then, I'm gonna do this laundry. Done! We've just got towels and nappies left over. Guys, look at their smiley face. Aura's just had 
her first ever baby jar, like baby <coughs> mush jar, is a hip organic vegetable pasta thing and I can't lie, she just absolutely loved it. Um, is it good? They sold them at the shops here so I got one the other day and I kept forgetting to give her it and I thought I'm going to give her it today for her lunch before we go swimming. <laughs> Is that funny? Yum 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 yum. Um. Does that taste so yummy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now we need to clean up the living room because there's toys and shoes splattered everywhere. We've been doing some spelling, me, Jason, me, well, not really Mila, but me and Jace. We've been doing some spelling with these little cards that I know I've shown on here before. But I'm just going to show you them again because they're great. They're from my mummy teacher and they're fantastic little flashcards. So we've got these ones, which are the first phonic, my first phonics uh, flashcards and game pack. And then we've got these ones that I've been doing with Mila over here, recognising numbers. And with Jace actually, because we've been doing numbers to 50. So yeah, that's why those are all out. Also guys, I'm absolutely fuming. Let me just move these to the side and I'll tell you why I'm fuming. This is my swimming costume. That it's my fault. I know it's my fault. But I put it outside and it was outside for a week. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys. You left your swimming costume out to dry for a week. Why? What is is this <laughs> is this an, an Ingham thing? Do you not like I don't know, just kind of bring things in after they're dried and put them away or is it just like a, a wear uh, and then dry and then wear again i don't know i feel <laughs> what's going on there you go that's 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 how sun bleached my costume is after being sat on the veranda so that was sat on the veranda outside uh, my bedroom and it's completely sun damaged and this was one of my favourites. I only wore this once and it was one of my favourite ones. I'm so gutted. There's no, can you get rid of that? What if I got a marker pen or something? <laughs> can you get rid of sun damage, babe? You want to colour it in? You want to get one of Jace's marker pens? It's one of his felt tips and um, colour it back here. What the fuck's the matter with you, <laughs> honestly? Clothes? No, that's funny, Look at the state of it. No, it's not. It kind of is, but kind of not it's my god sarah stick up for yourself for the love of god chris oh it's funny though isn't it sarah yeah it is a little bit isn't it no it's not funny sarah just tell him it's not funny it's not actually funny right just because chris says something doesn't mean you automatically have to you know change your mind right just because chris says jump doesn't mean you have to say how high he is an idiot, right? Chris doesn't know everything, honestly. Completely ruined. Yeah. I'm just about to blog, 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 but I think the camera's fogged up. Yes, it has. Sarah, just why are your sunglasses half the size of your head? That's all I need to know. I don't, don't know. It's bizarre. Yes. Walking. Jason, I'm sorry, but do you know what you are? What? The coolest boy I've ever known. You right, is? Yeah. You come in? Yeah. Come on. That was the what? loudest sniff I've ever heard in my life. Sorry. You're disgusting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Grab it. Got a question for you guys. Isabel, you may be able to answer this. Just on Chris's um, ginormous sniff that he just did on the camera a minute ago. I want to know why, because I don't know this answer, and I'm not ashamed to admit that. Why, when it's so hot, do you get the sniffles? Like, I've not got a cold. But the second I come out and I'm sweating like this now, like I am right now, no, I can breathe, but I feel like I need to sniff up, like I've got a running nose. And I guess it's kind of similar when you have a spicy food, because when you have a super spicy food, you get the sniffles, don't you? I don't know. There's got to be some sort of science behind it, because it always happens. Like, the other day when we came out and it was like 50 degrees, the day that we really regretted. Yeah, I got such bad sniffles. Okay, so let's discuss this now. It's really annoying me. All I could think of while she was talking was 
look at the houses look at the council estate looking houses right it does if you look there you've got the like a row of houses there's like a balcony and there's a, a garage underneath it, it looked right okay so now i'm going to show you a picture of where i used to live right when i was younger and um this isn't the exact houses right but this is an example this looks identical right okay give or take you know the dubai ones look much cleaner obviously but this is identical you've got the houses the row of houses like uh, terraced houses and you've got the balcony and underneath you've got the garage it's the same thing right i tell i told you i swear I used to live on a place that looked exactly like it. It's a council estate. I can't get it out of my head, honestly. That's all it is to me. And um, they've exchanged where they live <laughs> in, you know, that big manor house, you know, the big one, which um, was their dream house. Um, they've exchanged that for this. I, I just can't, I can't get my head around it at all. At least exchange it for a like a decent sized house a nice house somewhere in in the desert if you will but this is just insane i can't i really can't believe they've done it honestly but then again um there is the um the issue that we touched on in yesterday's video about somebody threatening to hire a hitman a hitman to um to go and go after them in in dubai um so i'd be concerned if i were a residence over there um of this safest country in the world obviously that you've actually brought your problems over to where they live their community and they are under threat have you warned the people who you live with the community the authorities that you have had an active threat against your lives there and a hitman might be after you or something like that you know i think you owe it to the people who live in the community to let them know but have you probably not babe that's my flask babe 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 Okay, you now just shout down the street, why don't you? Dinghams are coming, everybody. Hide, <laughs> hide your daughters. No chance. Just hide, basically. The Inghams are coming. At least you're letting them know, right? At least people are aware when you're on your way, because um, you know who could fail to to hear that fog on. I just said to Chris, don't put the bag on the front of the pram because it'll fall off. It's got my flask in it. I don't want it to get scratched. Well, I guess I've stood there now picking all the rubbish up off the um, floor, including my flask. It's like your gimbal as well. Told you. Do you want me to carry it? <laughs> no, is he's going to carry it. Give us that, I'll carry it. Mila? Yeah. How much do you love, Mama? Yeah. Hmm. Pardon? Yeah. Good? You love me good? Yeah. Okay. Whoa, Lady Bird and Butterfly just over in the bed. She loves me good. I'll accept that. Yes, darling. No, we're going to go to the big pool. It's better. Are you excited to go swimming? Yeah. Me too. You're holding your hat. It's not going to blow off, darling. <laughs> Every time we walk past this park, they always say, can we go and play? And we're always like, no, it's too hot. I'm going to let him have a quick play. I'll be in in a minute, babe. So they... I've obviously brought their council house... Um, like, inner voices to the outside, right? Shouting down the street. That's what happens on the on the estates, isn't it? Back home, you know, people shout, Hey, right, babe! Be there in a minute, babe! All right, babe! And yeah, that's a, a thing. And um, there's no like shame with these. They're, they'll just let everybody know they're coming. And um, yeah, <laughs> imagine your dream home in Dubai being tainted by these coming down the street shouting, babe. <gasps> what are we going on, Mila? I think the swings will be too hot. Yay! <laughs> Are they not hot? 
<laughs> Whoa! I can't go higher than that. <laughs> okay, I will. <gasps> Whoa! You are a real spider boy. <laughs> well done, spider boy. Spider man. Well done, spider man. And you, Mila, get over the bridge like a big girl. Say, say this to the bright camera. Why don't you say it? Okay. Go then, James. I climbed up only on the spider pole. Guys, like he climbed up like a blooming spider man. He climbed up like a girl spider man. Like a girl spider man. No, well, no, I think you go from that uh, side, Mila. What? You go from that side to this one, look. So you get on there and then you step onto this one. Go on, jump onto the yellow. Get on the yellow. That's it, yeah. And then reach over here. That's it, come walk around. That's it. Can you reach up here? That's it. And climb onto that one. Reach up to the yellow. That's it. See? That's it. You're all right, I'm here. And then you go that side again. The other side. Reach onto the green. I'm right here. Go on, you can do it. What? You okay? I've got you, I've got you, I've got you. I've got your hand. This side. Oh, she's going this way. One minute, Jace. That's it. That's it! I climbed up the highest one there is. You did it yourself! Wait, well I done! Up the highest one there is. Well done! Should we go swimming now? No, 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 no! Why? It's okay. too so hot! <laughs> well, this looks peaceful. Oh my gosh, just wondered who that was over there. It's Esme. Yeah. Reading a book in the pool. You alright, Es? Esme and I they didn't want to wait for us, so they came down early. How wonderful. Imagine this is your reading your reading seat. So <laughs> Imagine this being your reading. Your hours reading a day. So nice. Oh. Well Sarah, imagine um that is you your reading. You know, you are sat in the pool and you're reading your book or peaceful and everything else like that and along comes this strange woman, you know, behind you, claims to be your mother, obviously, because why not? Yeah, but it's a very strange woman comes behind you with a camera and points you how can I put this? Points a camera down the chest of your you know, your um 14 year old or yeah would would you accept that as a thing um or in esme's what <laughs> mind you esme does think that um you know people are allowed to take pictures of you and uh, yeah it's fine it's fine um it's a little bit weird you shouldn't really be filming your your kids um in that position sarah but then again um isn't it Chris the perv or is it you? Good question. A lot of people assume it's just Chris who's um, been pimping their kids out. But uh, it seems like it's it's Sarah. It's always been Sarah. You know, she's as guilty as Chris is. Oh, that breeze is nice here. What the heck? That's so nice. Isla's doing the same. Just down there. They have been at the, up at the pool for about an hour, these two. Time. I was reading the summer I turned pretty. Nearly finished it. I'm reading this one. Oh my gosh, she has finished it, I think. You nearly finished that, Isla. Yeah. Well done. Alice, what are you reading? As my I mean. Yeah. Hate mail. Hate mail. I got it because she looks like Armin. Who's Armin? Was I having a question? Esme's <laughs> about halfway through hers. Please what, darling? Please. Yes. I'm sorry, but this is the absolute cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. There was a little girl who had a little curl Right in the middle of her forehead My nanny used to sing that to me when I was a little child, Mila And now I get to sing it to you because you genuinely do have a curl in the middle of your forehead But Mum, shut up and get my float when I'm boiling Sorry, sweetheart Go on then, other arm That's it There we go, my girl <laughs> Are you straight in? Are you straight in? Blub. <laughs> hey, it's ready for my car, but I'm running. Right, let's get your goggles on. I'm gonna run in. Okay, okay, JC's turn. Mila said the pool water's too hot, so she got out. Yeah. Is it is it warm? It's fine. Oh, she's back. Go on, then, are you ready? Yeah. Three, 
Two, Clap. one. <gasps> Come on, Woohoo! Well done, mate! I touched the bottom. Did you touch the bottom? Yeah. Jace, your nose is really crushed. Put your goggles up, that's it. Look, no, I can't, I can't. They, they, they don't even fit on my face. They're not fitting right. Call me crazy, but I'm about to attempt to blow up Aurora's boat that we got her. And we've not even blooming had this out since we arrived. I don't know why. I was kind of waiting till we'd got to the new house, but. I think she'll really enjoy sitting in this, in the pool, instead of me just holding her the whole time. So, let's give it a go. Oh my gosh, it's done. <laughs> it's so cute! That is just adorable. I don't know the purpose of this little thing down here, but we've just rolled with it, and it's even got a little, whoa! It's got a pop-up UV canopy. I want to surf on this. No, <laughs> it's not surfboard, Jace. Yeah, it goes like a on here. Let me just pop that on. And we'll go give it to daddy in the pool with her. Oh, that would be a no. <laughs> okay, Jace, you ready? Yeah. Go on then, let's take it to Fly. daddy and Aurora. Daddy! It's flying! <laughs> <laughs> flying high! You okay, Mimi? You good? Watch your hat. <laughs> Great, get it! Oh, Rory, that's so good. He's got some cream in the face. Did you get some cream in your eye? Like, She's trying to get the little balls that are inside. Reminds me of Mila when... Tied to the straps. Yeah, it reminds me of Mila in Dubai. Dubai as well. Yeah, last time. But she hated it when we first caught her in, didn't she? Yeah, she did. She screamed, yeah. Like, oh, sweetheart, be careful. Rami's loving it, though. Are you loving it, darling? You're in your own boat. Let it go, let it go. It's right, funny, You and Mila are making me nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Just be careful, okay? I'll let go, but don't drag it, okay, Mila? Come here. Come here. You're too big. You've got your own boat, you and Jace. I can't remember what you got now. Did you get a shark one? Yeah, I mean, and what did princess. you get? A princess? No. We've not put them up yet, have we? Have to get them out. Not yeah, today. Not today. <laughs> definitely next time. You definitely get them out next time, okay? When we go to our new house in a couple of days, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> What fascinating lives they do lead, eh? Yet another pool day. Um, it's not like they've been not been to the pool before, isn't it? Fucking hell, is this all they're gonna do for the rest of their days? Go to the pool, go to the beach, go to the pool, go to the beach, pool and the beach, the pool and the beach. It seems quite um, boring, if I'm being honest with you. People, well, people, they seem to think that it's something to be jealous of and, you know, uh, everybody would love to be in the pool every day. But no, no, this is boring. I'm sorry. Look, what to here? Here you go. Here we go. She's like, I don't want to be in this. I want to be in the water. Oh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> Where's his bed? Oh no, it's a shark. Where's his scary yeah. flying shark? The Roddy! The Roddy! He looks so open in there! Yes, he's just so coming cute. to fuss on you now. Look at this. Oh! oh. <laughs> She's just lost the water. Did I catch it? She loves Mila so much. Yeah, I mean, she, she loves all of them, obviously, but I think she just knows that Mila's Little. small like she is. Boom! <laughs> oh, where's Mimi? Mimi! Oh, where's she going? <laughs> Mimi! <laughs> they definitely have a, like, a, they definitely know who's the small people and who's the not. Do you know what I mean? Like, definitely. 100%. They know 100% who's, who's like them. Because she's got a different relationship with the older three as she does Jason and Mila. Yeah. Like, she loves them all equally. She smiles at them all equally, but she just gets really excited with her hands start going and her arms are flapping, her legs are flapping whenever she sees Jason and Mila running yeah, around she does. her. But I guess it's their energy as well. Yeah. Like the older three are calm when they come to me and go, call me and my old baby. Whereas Mila and Jason are always like, yeah. <laughs> you know, they're always like, it's a scary baby. Where's Jace? Where's Jace? I did. I'm going to do your dog! Mm. Uh, <gasps> <laughs> Guys, 
a set of idiots. Can't even see me. There we go. Still can't see me properly, but it's all good. Oh my gosh. K9 vehicle. Right, where's the horn on this thing? Beeping for Chris. Got the key. The car key. Says the car key is not in the vehicle. It's in the back. Let's take out the bag and put it on the dashboard. Oh. I love to buy one. Nowhere else in the world would that camera have been left for that length of time and still be in there. Guys, I'm not going to lie. We just left the camera at the pool for the last hour put on the sunbed. Wait, where? On the dashboard. Why? It's, it's got low battery, that's why it's been. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Guys, we just left the camera. Where's the. Oh my gosh, I'm looking for the camera and it's in my hand. What am I doing? So we just left the camera. But look how bad the lighting is in here. It makes me look like a rough old boot leather. Anyway, we just left the camera at the pool for the last hour. So that was great. And it was only when I was just about to leave now. I need to go to Care 4 and the new house. I'll tell you why in a second. But. I was like, where's the camera? I'll take the camera with me. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. And then I was like, I think it's on a sunbed because I put it on a sunbed that was not next to us because I was using it at the pool and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, an hour it was on the sunbed and it was busy down there, mega busy when we left. So I was like, no way. But luckily it was still sat there. So that was amazing. Yeah, but Sarah, don't forget you are living in the safest country in the world. You could leave all your possessions out in the open and nobody would ever ever steal it because they don't need to because they're all rich out there don't forget so why are you worrying just leave your stuff there come back and pick them up later right we did an order on amazon i was a little bit worried about doing an order on amazon because i've heard stories from people here from a few people that have told us oh it's a bit hit and miss like you get next day delivery but sometimes they struggle to find your accommodations postal service here is not amazing um, you have to put in like the coordinates of your house and blah 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 anyway Chris did the Amazon order yesterday and he, he only used the name of the sub the name of the community we live in the name of our cluster and the house number and I was like there's no way so all day I've been sat panicking about this Amazon delivery thinking there's no way it's not gonna show up and I've been tracking it all day long and it says it's just been delivered. So, well, it was actually when I was at the pool that I had to feed her aura, get showered, blah, blah, blah. So it's taken me an hour. But yeah, it said it's, it said it's been delivered. So I'm gonna head out, they've left, left it outside. So I'm gonna head on over to the house now. Not that I think that it's gonna get taken. I'm just gonna head over and pop it in the house. Do I even have a new house key? I bet Chris has just told me all this. I've just been trying to sort out Mila's birthday present. I'm guessing those are the keys. Um, so I wasn't really listening to him, which is very bad of me. But um, yeah, I'm going to go into the new house now. And hope that the Amazon deliverer has been delivered and is actually at the house. Also, I've got to admit guys, it feels very, very strange to be going out on my own for the first time since we moved in. Because I've usually got one of the girls with me, but Esme and Isla were literally having none of it today. They were literally arguing so bad <laughs> over who was coming with me. And then I, then I was like, just both come. And they're like, no, I want a turn on our own. And I was like, well, decide then amongst yourselves which one is coming. No, you just decide. I'm like, I'm sorry, but there ain't no way I'm choosing which daughter I want to come with me and which one I want to stay at home. That is not happening because I would, e oh, can't even see me. Because I'd like e either of you there equally. And they're giving it, no, you, get, you went last time. Yeah, but you went twice. Blah, blah, blah. You know what it's like, guys. Maybe I'm missing something, but isn't there enough room for the both of them to, to come with you? You know, there's enough space in Sarah Ingham's heart for two daughters at the same time. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm sorry, this whole conversation is um, is lost on me. Just to bring them both, right? Honestly, it's fighting over who wants to come to the shop. It's, it's bizarre, bizarre. So I was like, guys, girls, that's it, enough, I'm going on my own. So here I am, <laughs> going out for the first time in Dubai by myself. It's kind of cool. Yay! <laughs> we got everything! Someone's having the car wash next door. It's a bit loud. Here we go! 
oh my gosh, it still smells of paint in here. Just quickly having a look at what's arrived. We've got the toaster that you guys have currently sat on. Table mats. Oh, that's cute. I got two packs of these table mats. I forgot what this pattern, material, pattern. Talking about materials called. But you know, these type of things. Five, one, two, three, four, five. I've got two sets of bows. This is probably the other set. I'm literally just sat at the front door. And next door's having a car stop. Do you know here in Dubai it's actually illegal to have a dirty car and you can be fined? I can't remember how much the fine is. But you can be fined like a hefty fine if your car's disgusting. And people here just call up like the services that you can get here. And you have someone on your doorstep within like 10 minutes cleaning your car. Or what our friend said they do is they just pay like a set amount per month and it's not expensive. And they come to your house like twice a week and wash your car. Even like on a night time. Like sometimes we'll be, we're driving around like 10 p.m. at night and there's people just outside washing cars. Okay, so that's very interesting, Sarah. So um, you've basically moved to a country where it's illegal to have a dirty car right do you know how insane that actually is right for most people if you want to have a dirty car have a dirty car but the fact that the government are forcing you to clean the car and pay for it to be cleaned because they want it to, does do you, do you not see the irony that you've left a country behind that you claim the government is so shit that they are so dictator di dictatorial and yet you've moved to a country where they are dictating that you have to have a clean car do you not see the irony there no probably not but services services what they call like you know people that are employed they just come out and wash your car anyway that's set two right What's this? No, what actually is. Oh, that's tiny. It's a kettle. I don't know, that's just fine. It's just fine, guys. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. So we've got that, that. I think everything else is coming tomorrow. Aurora's baby walker, which I'm so excited about. Actually, the Amazon order was like 43 items, so there's a lot coming tomorrow. Because all that's coming today is those two and this thing, you guys. Currently sat on. I can't show you that bit at the front because it's got the address on. I'll show you there. Little toaster. The girls really wanted a four toaster. So we got a four toaster. Just had a quick run in the house. It's looking so good. It's looking so good, but it stinks of paint. It's freezing in there. They've left the air conditioning on, so it's absolutely freezing. So I've just come outside to warm up. But um, it's looking so good. Just a quick update, because I know some of you guys will be wondering. But we were supposed to have the cleaners in today, doing the deep clean. Um, however, the painters didn't finish the paint jobs that they were supposed to do yesterday. So they had to come in back, back in today. I think they were doing the um, the door frames and the doors and things like that. Just making sure everything was properly done. So they came back in today and did that. They've now finished because I just went in and all the paint's gone. So it was all left yesterday when we came. Like the paint tubs, the paint pots, like all the paintbrushes and things were all still out. But they've all gone now. So they've definitely finished. Um, and the cleaners are due to come in tomorrow morning to give it all a proper deep clean, which I can't wait for. Because as soon as that's done, no one else will be coming in the house. It will just be ours. Um, also, everything else is arriving tomorrow. Um, so we will officially be able to move in, which is very exciting indeed. Also, I've left the car running, so I probably... And the car door's open, so I probably should go back out. But, um, yeah, very exciting. Okay guys, it's 7, 70, imagine, it's 37 degrees out. The sun's been down an hour, but obviously you need the air conditioning on when you get into the car. I am not kidding you, I have never had drier eyeballs in my life. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking. You need to have obviously the air conditioning on quite strong, because otherwise it's just not effective. But that constant blowing in your face feels so divine everywhere other than your eyeballs that I just like, 
it feels sometimes like someone just poured a bucket of sand in my eyeballs and my eyes have just, sorry they've just never been drier anyway uh, we just came up we just say I'm used to not being on my own I just came up to I am actually just gonna turn it down a second there we go I just came up to care for just for some a few essentials we need some more fruit as it doesn't last two minutes in our house and we also need a few snacks and things just some snacks and things for the cupboard and um, so I'm gonna nip into care for now and get those and I will see you guys when I get back to the house Okay, it seems like tomorrow is the big house move. They're finally going to move in. Hallelujah, something exciting. So, I can't wait to see what their house is. Well, we've already seen it, really, haven't we? But, um, I can't wait to see what they've done with the place, really, and how they are planning on them navigating their way around what a three bedroom house with eight people in it it sounds sounds tetris like so um let's uh, come back tomorrow please give this video a massive thumbs up if you've enjoyed it appreciated it or anything else comment all of your thoughts about it down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new until next time take care of yourselves and bye bye